everybody. Standing ovation here again with another break. I got my second box, a 2122 Skybox Metal Universe. The only real hockey product that's been out for, well, this came out two weeks ago. And I ripped one box and had a little bit of luck. But uh, I thought, what the heck, I'm going to rip this other one now. I think I probably, I don't know if my luck was all in that first box or not. You'd have to check out that video for yourselves and uh, make that decision. I don't know. We'll see. And again, I haven't opened this one yet, so we'll see what happens. But uh, I'll just say it wasn't spectacular, but it wasn't a waste of time either. So each box of these gives you one premium hit, being an auto numbered card or the Jambalaya uh, or the Platinum Performers, I guess that's a premium hit. There's uh, Actually, there's one other one too, the Metal, metal Axe. Uh, so you either get one of those three, you get two acetates and five regular inserts. Um, the autographs are one of those premium hits you might hit, so they're like one in every, I don't know, three three in a case maybe? Three to five in a case? I'd say three. Uh, anyway, we'll see what happens. Actually, poke through a little. We're good. Um, came right through the box there with my knife. Uh, these upside down packs, I don't know what the deal is. Same as my first box, they're upside down. But I remember from what I've seen, everybody's been showing me on the bricks that I've watched those those are where the premium hits are so let's mix these up and find out if that's the truth with me or not I didn't really notice in my first box what order they came out in I don't remember if I shuffled up the packs or not either so let's see but my suspicion is one of those three packs will have the big hit and the other two may have the other ones. I, I, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Just randomly pulling the packs out here. We'll see. We'll see. Again, I started off fairly well. And then, uh, I don't know, the last box, it was, I, I, we'll, have to, we'll just have to wait and see. And, yeah, the um, next next product to come out, I've heard, is the cup coming out at the end of the month. This is, uh, I'm almost at the end of January now. It is January 19th or 20th that I'm making this one. And hold on, I don't even ignore my calendars. Don't know what day it is anymore. It's morning and I'm just off my first coffee, so. It's the 19th. I had to even look myself. My gosh. Okay, well, here we go. Stutzla. Wrappers. Get them out of there. Stutzla. Kopi. Ertl. Lundquist. And it's upside down. Kalen Addison. Rookie. That's my first hit. You know what? It's a skybox. Uh, I'll show you the retro 1978 design. You get three of these per box. You're supposed to get three per box. Uh, I didn't get an SP in that pack, did I? Earl Kopi of Stutzla. I don't think I did. Oh, yes, I did. Lindquist is a rookie. Didn't see it down there. It says rookie. Maybe a little rookie puck shield on there. And then the others, uh, the SPs, the first hundred are base cards. Next hundred are SPs, which are divided up between alternate jersey veterans and the rookies which what is it 40 50 60 i i don't i haven't looked at the checklist in the past three hours so my memory's shot let's see carry on here flurry these upside down and every way around packs laffy suter atkinson is getting real cheesy from here who's Who's, who's the cheddar number 18? Ranta is the rookie. Josie, the third jersey, or the alternate jersey, and Toffoli. Okay, that's great. I've got three Tyler Toffoli cheddars right now, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all three. Very cheesy little insert. Anyway, see, actually, if you see stuff you like here, check me out on eBay. Or, uh, you know, ask me questions at uh, questions at standingovation.com, and you might get me right there answering right away. Um yeah. If not, just tap the like and subscribe. That helps me out too, and it really does. If uh, all those people that have subscribed, if I could thank them personally, I would. And anybody wants to join in, join on in. When I get closer to a thousand, I'll release the details of my giveaway, which I'm planning on doing. And I'm planning on it. It's just in the planning stages because I really don't know how to handle a giveaway. I haven't really done it before, but I'll figure it out. It doesn't seem like it's too hard. You just give somebody something. That's really all there is to it. But you have to make it fair for everybody and get comments left or something. I don't know. Let's get back to this break. Shesterkin to Foley. Darlene having a great year. The Sabres are. Nemeskov. Jacob Bernard Docker. And we've got to Foley. McDavid. Oh, I heard of him. More cheddar. 
Nate McKinnon. Okay. That's kind of weird. All my Cheddars, as far as I know, are Avalanche players and are Canadians. No, actually, I got a Mo Cider as well. But I got Newhook and I got uh, Caulfield. So I got Toffoli's and Caulfield, Newhook and McKinnon. Yeah. Not a lot of cheese, but a little. A little bit of a... What's going on in the corner of this card? Does it look bent to you? It kind of looks bent to me. That's what happens when you put a die-cut card in behind your rookie. That's what's happened there. Guaranteed. Remember that, Upper Deck, if you're watching, and I know you are, you watch all my videos. Package your uh, die-cut cards accordingly. Remember 97, 98, you, even, you left it all punched in there half the time? You had to punch it out yourself. Do your own die-cutting. Those three-star select inserts. Yeah, I think I mentioned that once before. My memory's cyclical. Her Suzuki. Nick Suzuki. And where are we going? Mark Stone. Speaking of Newhook, there's the rookie, Alexander Newhook. Or uh, Alex Newhook. Third jersey in McKinnon. And we got a die cut. Big man on campus. Suzuki. Right on. Suzuki. Let's put these over here. Make the cheddar wheel. And the die cut there, 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 and there. We got Foxy Foxer and Tuchuk. I was surprised they didn't get him with Florida yet. But again, these cards are 21, 22, 22, 23 are less than a year away. I think I've heard they're less than three months away. So they're going to like double up on this product release and still leave us hanging for 2021 the cup. 21, 22 still got a couple products yet to come out. 22, 23 is slowly creeping out. They got upper, upper deck really is all that's come out. So. SB game used was 2122. Yeah, 2223. MVP and upper deck. Wow, that's pretty bad. Bertuzzi. A hole. Big man on the ice. Who is that? I can't read it. Shifle. Shifley. I should recognize the A. Shifles. I got Byfield rookie on the back. And he's been playing lately. I haven't checked how well he's been doing. I got a whole bunch of Byfield young guns, which I'm. I was thinking he was going to be the guy. Sorokin, Duke, and Marchand. That is one weird... Well, that's the Golden Knights. I was thinking that's Sabres jersey, but no. Golden Knights. Still, that alternate is kind of odd. Wasn't expecting that one. So there's my three alternate jersey SPs. I got... Uh, one, two, three. Looks like one more rookie to come. Maybe two. I don't know how many. No, you get more than six rookies. You get, I can't remember. I don't know. There's a Kraken guy, Giordano, who is now a Leaf guy. Pareko, Tur Turcotte, rookie card. Neon icons, Shifley, glow in the dark. Okay, do these glow or do they not glow? I've been wondering. I'm holding this under my light. I'm turning out the light. It's going to get a little darker, but not much. Yeah, it looks like they glow cool okay that answers my own question i was told they did but i haven't pulled one of these so now i know here's my shifley glow in the dark neon icon just the stick you can see the outline it's the skates the sticks and the gloves that are going to glow kind of neat idea i suppose although i don't look at my cards in the dark very often not very often sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night sound asleep go sleepwalking and go to my card collection and i look at the cards very gimmicky idea, glow-in-the-dark cards. Sure, why not? You know, in 10 years, they're going to light up on us, right? You know that. Cards will not will no longer be cards. They're going to be like, and then another 20 years, it'll be like Harry Potter. They're going to move around in there. Maybe not. Getzlaff, Keith, Burns. There's my retro Lapierre. They really got to work on packaging these better, too, because, you know, all the cards in the right way, a little bit of surprise in the reveal helps, but no, you got to work yourself into that. Bernsey, McKinnon, Grubauer, and the retro of Lapierre. Grubauer. Kraken cards. And, hang on, moving along here. Foligno. Nick Foligno? The Odor, Tador. There's a premium prospect, Newhook. Great 
player from the Rock, Newfoundland, there up here in Canada. And Carlson, Everly, Matthews, Geno. You know what? I just hit a Geno rookie. That's what happened there. Tanner Geno. You know, the Preds should get more hobby love. They put out a lot of good teams. And they don't get the hobby love that I think they should. But, and again, small market team. Nashville. I don't know. I've never been to Nashville. I drove through Tennessee once. Never been to Nashville. Panarin. Forsberg. Rantan. Peterson. Or is it Pedersen? I'm not sure. Pedersen or Peterson? I'll have to ask him when I meet him one day. Never. Stamkos, 500 gold man. Congrats to uh, amazing milestone in the NHL. Shane Pinto, rookie card. Amped up. And Ranton and base. Crosby, at least it's Crosby, but these are the lamest of all lame inserts that I've seen in a long time. In a long, long time. Okay. Uh, not, not too amped up over the amped ups. Now, other people don't like the die cuts, although I prefer the die cuts over the amped up. The neon icon's kind of a gimmicky, but also a very plain Jane card. Same with those prospects. They should have been numbered, and there are numbered versions of them, I guess, and autoed versions, but uh, remember, clear prospects, they were numbered, if I recall, at a four ninety nine or something. Jack Hughes. Oh, I got a little color showing up here. I think this is, or it might just be the retro. But I got my three retros, so I think I got a purple PMG, which would be cool. That would be numbered. But I thought that might come up at one of those. So maybe I'm just getting a little overly anxious. Backstrom, Klingberg, Perfetti, rookie. One of the better rookies this year to hit. Merz Lickens in a third jersey. I thought I was only getting three of those, so I got a fourth. Cool. And is it, is it, no, it's just a retro design of Robin Sallow. Oh, it wasn't, I didn't hit three yet. I'm all, yeah, I'm just very confused. He's in now. But it does, like if you saw that, you'd think, right, you hit a purple PMG. That's what I thought. Robin Sallow. Any relation to Toby? I know Sallow is not the most uncommon name in Sweden. But, I don't know. I don't know anything. I know I'm having fun ripping open hockey cards right now. Fun, fun, fun. Hope you guys had fun ripping yours if you did. And if you're about to, hope your box is a banger of a box. Anders Lee. Tommy Tom Tom Wilson. Besser. Price. JVR. McDavid. Nice. And I got a prospect smurser. Well, that is the high numbered McDavid too, numbered 101. Should have clued in that uh, that is not a normal jersey for the Oilers. I only thought you got three of these in a box. I don't know anything. It's just it's broken down to SBs or one and three. I think is what it is. They say. Whatever. Don't come to me for information. Just come to me for watching the rip because I'm really good at opening them, but not good at telling you stuff that you need to know. That's what all those big uh, breakers are for. I'll get there. I'll learn. Hey, this one feels thicker. Maybe it's just because it's the last one, but it really does. Why would it feel thicker? I don't know jersey cards coming out of this stuff. Maybe it's because there's a, what do they call them? The Metal X? Let's just hold off. We'll go over to these top three packs that I saved for last because they potentially have the good hits, but I think something happened in there. You can see there's there's thickness in there, right? There's some girth. And this pack produces a peach tree dish. Ehlers. We got some die cut happening here. Johnny Goudreau Merzlikens. We got Ryan Merkley. Rookie. Why am I putting these over here? Sorry, McDavid. I covered you up there. Merkley. Batherson alternate and we got a planet ice planet or is it plant metal cooch cooch raw Batherson high number jersey alternate jersey or Ehlers and yeah 
the global die cut thingy do. Yeah. I like those uh, out of the die cuts I've hit so far. That's probably the one I prefer. I don't know. The big man on ice are not too bad, but a little bit bu too busy, I think. I don't know. I'm not that busy of a guy. Okay, two packs left to go. Thanks for watching again, folks. And I, I think I mentioned it, but if you could, I really need those subscribers. And the likes help, too. Throw down a comment or something in there just to engage with me. Let YouTube know you are there and I am here. Oh, and it feels like it's going to be a pick. Let's just pull the pick. Who have we got? Vazzy. Vazlavsky. So I got a cooch and a Vazzy for my picks. Or for my die cuts. That, those are 1 in 38. I don't know what the odds are those. But that, that those are my, uh, yeah. I got Ovechkin, Dumba, Lafreniere, Phillips, Rookie. Iskinen and Varichuk, Voracuk. Okay, so that leads me to believe I've hit a metal X. Let's see who we got. Little Olsen there. And it is a metal X. Let's just go whoosh. Jack Hughes. Nice card. A little bit of a print line down the middle. Not too bad, but yeah, those print lines are hard to avoid on a card this shiny. In a print line or a machine line or a scratch or something. Faint but there, which is frustrating because I don't know if you'd grade an insert like that anyway. It's not a rookie insert, just a really cool card. And there you go. That's the premium hit for this box. I don't know how many Metal X's pop out of a case. I've seen one. I've seen two actually in some cases too, but there you go. I've got one of these coming. I think I hit a D Boss in the first. Uh, product release. I know I had the Detroit and I'm pretty sure I got a Dylan Larkin coming too. There you go folks. Again, thanks for watching. Check me out on YouTube or on eBay I should say. I go by Standing Ovation there too. And like I say, any questions you might have, just drop me. I got StandingOvation.com. Registered the domain name. I haven't got my site up and running yet but you can still throw me an email at just questions at StandingOvation.com and I'll try to reply. Alright folks, take it easy. Standing Ovation. Oh here again. I forgot to rip one of my packs into the last box I broke, so I just add this in as a short video. Or maybe I'll see if I can tag it on to the end of the video. Here's a pack of 2122 Skybox Metal Universe Hockey. Let's see what's inside. This was the last box in a break I just did, so check my videos out on YouTube, folks. You can see the whole the whole box get ripped open. And what else was inside? Ryan O'Reilly. Movie starts. All right, back to the start. Here we got Brady to Chuck, Ryan O'Reilly, D Boss, Dylan Larkin, Shifley, Philip Deneau, Heleno rookie card, and a Jacob Bernard Docker prospects. Well, that wasn't very exciting, but there you go. That was the 15th pack in a box of Skybox Metal. Check me out on eBay, standingovation.com, and YouTube standing ovation. Thanks for watching, folks.